Hello friends, how are you? So in today's video, uh, I'm gonna talk about how is tuition, books, and other miscellaneous expenses are being paid under the ROTP in a civilian university. What is ROTP? So ROTP, I have a detailed video uh, that I made. So this is the the title of this video you can search search it in YouTube and I, I spoke in detail what is our OTP how to join and other uh, uh, information about the program there's also a uh, video that I made uh, how to apply online to RMC or Royal Military College and there's also a, uh, a CFAT or the Canadian Armed Forces Aptitude Test. I have a, a playlist that I update regularly in order for you to prepare for your CFAT. Okay, so going back to my, uh, uh, to my topic here. So our, our ROTP is the regular officer uh, training program and it can be completed in two ways. So there's two ways to complete your baccalaureate degree. So it's either at RMC, Royal Military College, or at a civilian in university. Now the uh, Royal Military College, uh, it's located in two provinces one is in Kingston Ontario and one is in St. John Quebec uh, civilian university it could be any civilian university for example University of Calgary in uh, Alberta or University of Victoria in British Columbia so how is how is the tuition uh, books and miscellaneous expenses being paid uh, at RMC so like I said uh, RMC is in two locations in Kingston and St. John uh, if your program for example your uh, program of preference is engineering for example electrical engineering and if it's available at RMC and the RMC capacity is okay that means the uh, there's a limit that they can accommodate the limit number of students so if the capacity is still available then uh, you will uh, complete your your degree at RMC and the uh, military the Canadian forces the government pays directly for your tuition okay now the other scenario is uh, what if your program is not available at RMC um, and the other uh, possibility is that if the RMC capacity is full uh, they can no longer accommodate you uh, then um, you'll go to a civilian university of your preference okay so going back to my main uh, point of this video is how is tuition books and miscellaneous expenses are paid when you're going into a civilian university okay so the way it works is uh, you'll submit an advance and the reason why you're submitting a, an advance is that even though you're being paid by the Canadian Forces a salary, this, uh, this expense is just too much for you to pay out of pocket. So the most, most common way to pay for this is to submit an advance and then you will submit a final claim once the semester is completed so 
it's very important to keep your receipts in order to uh, submit it as supporting document for your final claim to get your money back okay so um, a, a semester a typical so depending again this is depending on the program that you selected this is just an example so a, a uh, tuition typical uh, a typical tuition per semester is 6,000 I, I just made this uh, as an example so in a semester the average number of courses that students take is five courses or 15 credits and let's just say for example that the amount for that semester is six thousand dollars so remember what i said so you'll submit an advance an advance to submit an advance you'll you'll fill up a form and that form will include your information and the amount that you are uh, um, advancing so typically an advance um, you, you'll uh, submit an amount and then you keep the receipt for the final claim so what about out-of-pocket expenses uh, so like I said keep the receipts to get your money back for example you have a a, uh, an instrument or something that is needed to complete your uh, your your course and you bought that out of pocket then you need to keep that receipt and when you submit your final claim then you include that receipt in order to get your money back okay so the main thing very important to uh, get your uh, uh, to pay for your tuition books and miscellaneous is to submit an advance okay so uh, I hope you learned something out of, of this video uh, the uh, the video that I, uh, I mentioned earlier I will put the link in the description of this video okay take care